all of this bloody traffic. Hello, obviously we are 600 RR. 2000 and something, please. 2010? <coughs> I think I should just go this way. It will make more sense. <coughs> Hello guys and welcome to another episode of Bike Sim. Look at this. This is the first time I've actually ridden this week. I've been actually sitting down and resting. Just like what my doctor instructed. But that's the main reason why I haven't done any vlogs this week. Actually that's a lie. The main reason why I haven't done anything is because I have got content which I need to edit. I just haven't been bothered to edit because I've been trying to learn after effects as much as possible because of I'm sort of feeling the pressure of the upcoming track day and I was actually saying to MNX um, today that I'm sort of uh, I just want to get to learn it as much as possible so then when it comes to the time where I'm you know given that footage I can be like, okay, yes, this is what I can do with this footage. I don't want to have to get the footage and then have to spend <coughs> so long having to learn the application again to then take forever and ever to put out some good quality years, minutes. So anyways, I'm actually on my way to go see a drug dealer. What? Not a drug dealer. I'm just going to go get some, uh, I need a top up, you know, running a bit low on the old uh, premium e-liquid for my vapor rooney. Something that I've never actually spoken about, but um, I used to be quite a heavy smoker. I think this is like probably the first time I've ever, I've ever actually spoken about it quite publicly. But yeah, I, I was a very heavy smoker and... Uh, Next week is going to be four months since I've given up smoking. So um, you know I've been on uh, you know vape vape sticks. And actually, the only reason why I actually um, started on a vape stick is because one of the guys at work gave me one, and I was like, hmm, you know what? Let's just give this a try and see how it goes and stuff. And yeah, you know it kept me off of cigarettes. And but it's just the fact that with those beginner ones, it's uh, you know you have to pull quite hard before you can even get any sort of sense of satisfaction from it and also as well because it was a 1.3 um, ohm uh, wick that was in there or coil whatever you want to call it it was very very harsh so it wasn't very en enjoyable so then uh, I sort of uh, upgraded that one so I changed it from you know the standard filler that you get to the one where you fill from the bottom so I filled up with that, uh, filled up and changed to that one and then after that, um, you know, it was it was a, uh, a slightly more pleasurable experience but I was still lacking so then I upgraded again to getting a sub ohm coil with a um, adjustable airflow and since then that is what I've been getting the enjoyment and also the also getting the sort of uh, satisfaction I need to keep me off the cigarettes so um, <coughs> yeah so I'm just uh, actually going over now to my local shop ED shop to top myself up with some paper because I am running low I am on fumes so um, yeah you know it's uh, one of those things where I do enjoy the pleasures of smoking, I'm not going to lie, I just don't want to have to damage my lungs in the process. So for me this is sort of a win-win because you know you do get a very high amount of satisfaction from the nicotine itself but you know you might as well just uh, oh, what happened here? Oh, motorcycle accident and a bicycle? Hmm. But yeah, anyways, um, don't really want to keep talking about that, but you know, it's sort of an in insight into my life that I think, you know, you guys probably, I'd say you guys do deserve it because you people spend so much time on my channel anyways, so, you know, it's only fair to sort of give back in a way, um, but yeah, <laughs> I think what I'll do is I'll cut you in sort of when we, when I'm in the actual vape shop, 
sight. When I go there, it seems as if I'm in Amsterdam or something. I've never actually been there, but that's what it seems like. So it's like <laughs> when I go in there, it's just so fun. Well, not fun. It's fun to eat because if you just, like get two dudes, you know, you know, man. If that guy is in today, then you would see what I mean. Like that's what he's like. He's like, you know, man. Like he just seems as if he's high. I'm, I'm you know, there's there has been times when I've gone into the shop and I've I thought, hmm. It does smell a bit like cannabis, you know. But I don't know if that was just my imagination because of that dude or whether it did actually smell like cannabis. But, yeah. Anyways, I'm not going <laughs> to go into anything else, you know. I'll just leave it there. That's enough of an insight into Bikerson's uh, personal thing and Madudas and his life and such. But, yeah. Anyway, guys, um, this is just sort of something you know to just keep you going until next week because uh next week i am back to work so i will be riding so that means when i'm riding there will be vlogs and when there's vlogs and there's bike in so yeah anyway guys until the next video bike in you know take care do the usual give me a like give me a share drop a comment below and most importantly click the red button that says subscribe there's a big red button right next to me so make sure you click him and uh yeah i shall see you on the next one enjoy the little clip if i do remember keep my camera on Anyway guys, see you later!